<laughs> You've gone up against Mahomes now a few times here over the years. What's uh, you know just what's the focus when you go into a game against him? Um, playing the whole play, finishing the, the whole entire game. Uh, I played him a lot of times. A lot of times the Raiders have been up two, two, three scores, and we somehow managed to lose that game. You know what I'm saying? So you have to play the entire play, every play. In the entire game, every game with him. Is Travis Kelsey treated more like a wide receiver than a tight end just because of, of what he can do? Absolutely. I think, you know, that's, that's just what it is, bro. He, he definitely revolutionized the tight end position um, for the flex tight ends. Um, so that's just what it is. You got to treat him as such because that's what he, that's what he does. How do you continue to push through all four quarters, all three phases of this game, and everybody? I mean, like, how do you kind of talk to the guys over the years and, and say, this is what we need to do to keep that consistency going? A game like this, and a person like him, you got to prepare the right way. You have to, because you, you're only going to result back to your training. If you didn't train that way the whole week uh, with a certain want to, a certain um, sense of urgency, a certain a sense of I'm going to finish this play no matter what. It's not going to happen in the game. You got to, you have to finish with, with, with this team. Hey, as spectators, we obviously know that Patrick Mahomes is one of the most talented, if not the most talented quarterback in the league. Yeah. As somebody who plays against him, what makes him different than every, every other quarterback? Um, I think his, his ability to, his, his ability to make, like y'all see, you know, I, I see what y'all see for real. It really to make something happen out of nothing every time. It's like he he's not the most athletic, but if you look at the film, you like, damn, he might be the most athletic because he some way makes a play when there's when there's nothing and runs around, finds a way to scramble, gets the best players in the league, breaks tackles and tosses the ball for 10, 20, 30, whatever it may be. So. So last year, obviously, you guys were the last team in the last, what, 12 games that have beaten the Chiefs. How much does the fact that you guys are not scared of him, you're not intimidated by him, especially as a defense, yeah. how much does that play into how well you guys play against him? Um, that's the main thing. If you go into that game intimidated, then you're going to lose. Like last year, y'all seen him lose, huh? Like, like bro said, you cut the head off the snake. You know what I'm saying? You take the magician, the act is over. You know what I'm saying? So you can't – you you. You gotta respect it, but it's a level of respect that you can't you can't give him too much. You know what I'm saying? Respect, but you it, it's a balance. So. I know he just got traded there, but DeAndre Hopkins, they're two years old. How much juice do you think he has left, and how are you preparing for him being involved in this game as well? Um, it's it's the league. You know what I'm saying? So if he if he plays, he plays. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But. He steps out there. We're man. gonna be prepared. Anybody can, Anybody get, can it. get it. Anybody can. He's the can man. man. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're prepared for anybody who walk out. So it don't. It don't really matter who, who's on and who's not.